गुड मॉर्निंग और टूडे टॉपिक इज मेमोरी ड्राइंग लेट्स सी द मटेरियल रिक्वायर्ड पेंसिल इरेजर लॉन्ग स्केल पोस्टर कलर्स ब्रशेस पैलेट ब्लैक मैक्रोटिप पेन वन फोर साइड ड्राइंग पेपर और ड्राइंग बुक ड्रॉ वन सेंटेंट बॉर्डर एंड ड्रॉ पेज राइट डाउन रेडिंग एंड लेफ्ट हैंड कॉर्नर राइट डाउन टू डेज डेट नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट अ ड्राइंग First, we are going to draw one slipping line for the division of the background and foreground. The upper part is background, and the lower part is the foreground. Size of the human figure is at least one width, that is 15 centimeter in height, and sitting figure is a minimum 10 centimeter. At least minimum four human figures required for the memory drawing. Now, first, we have to roughly draw the figures to arrange a drawing on a paper, and then we are going to finalize the drawing with a two B pencil. We roughly draw the human figures here. Just outlines. The drawing should be light, so that if goes wrong, we can erase it. Right now, we are just. arrange a drawing on a paper with some rough lines so don't finalize the drawing right now just outlines with light lines to arrange the size of the figures now all the figures were done now we add some details in the background like window doors Given dimensions to the doors. Now these are our all rough drawings. Now we are going to finalize this drawing. This is our final drawing with a two B pencil with details. Now erase all unnecessary lines with the eraser. Drawing should be dark because we are going to apply one background color, light tone. of the colors so if your drawing is light then this might be filled out so trace this drawing with a two b pencil and darken this drawing and now we are going to start so coloring first we fill up a tone for the background and a foreground we starts with one yellowish ochreish color slightly add brown in it and fill up this color in a background that is on a wall and a figures and for the foreground we are applying a gray tone slightly bluish gray color is there and all the colors are transparent outside of the window also i am fill up a grayish bluish color now this is our first application of the color now we starts applying color on a figures i am applying a blue color on a shirt of the the person who is standing on a left hand side part full shirt with the plain blue color first we apply 
all the figures with the plain colors and then give details with the lights and shadows for the paint i use a combination of blue and brown that is nearly a black color not exactly black but dark and blue color because most of the uh, figures has a dark paint and it's look good for the combination of the blue that same color with the slide amount of red i'm using for the hair all figures hair i'm going to apply with the same tone and afterward i am going to give some light and dark shades that is details by adding some white and yellow color the mostly hairs are black but i am not using directly black color here i am using a combination of blue and brown memory drawing has some rules you need to draw at least four human figures in a memory drawing you have to arrange a drawing properly on a page human figure at least one width that is uh, minimum 15 cm in height with standing and sitting figure minimum 10 to 12 cm background and foreground you have to show in a memory drawing this is very much necessary in memory drawing you have to divide a uh, drawing in a two parts background and foreground now i'm going to apply a yellowish ochre color on a wall background wall now what is background and what is foreground that is also more important the surface behind the figures that is wall sky or whatever is on the back side of the human figures are the background now what is foreground the remaining part of the surface that is uh, tiles or the surface on which figures are standing or sitting these are the foreground that mean the surface those are like ground tiles flooring all these parts are the foreground when you divide on a memory drawing in a two parts you must draw a human figures standing or sitting on a foreground on above foreground if you draw a figure standing they look like flying in a sky that's why this is very much important that you have to divide a surface in a foreground and background and how to arrange a drawing on a paper the arrangement of the paper also very much important how to arrange human figures on a papers this is also most important human proportion also more important that's why the memory drawing is a most difficult drawing for the grade examination because it has a 
many criterias are there human proportion head proportions arrangement on a paper application of the color colors shade light then shadow everything is necessary to understand for the memory drawing now for the foreground i am using a gray color the combination of the blue brown and white and also we showing a different different shades of the gray color like behind the stool might be there a surface got darken that's why this has a darken gray color and the figure sitting near the door there also some dark tones are there because it's got a shadow on a foreground of this human figures that's why the dark gray color we are using there now here is the meeting point of the foreground and background here we are using brown and gray mixing technique in background we apply a dark brown color because there is a depth outside a door that's why we apply a dark tones of the brown by adding some persian blue and red color and this tone we are going to mix merge with the gray color like that now this look like ana depth here now we add some base tones on the human figures different different colors clothes they are wearing but these are the carpenters that is painters that's why they are using a uh, dirty clothes or maybe the clothes gets dirty that's why we use a uh, dull colors for their clothes for the window i am using a reddish brown color it's look good for the border of the window this window got highlighted because of the frame of the window on this figure i am using a dark pink color crimson red plus white adding some dark tone also there for the dimensions just apply a color in one direction here also i am adding some dark tone for the dimension these are the most important parts in a memory drawing and need for that you have to need to understand from where the lights come here is the only way to light come is from the outside of the window that's why we are showing a uh, light tones towards the windows
you must apply at least three tones of the colors for the dimensions that's why I just I am applying uh, strokes of the colors light and dark now this is a second technique of the application of the color directly we are going to apply dark light colors and mix together here also first we have to apply gray color full and then apply some dark tone when we apply a color on a paper or we can make a composition we need to understand the balancing and the dominations of the design also and we are going to use the combinations in a memory drawings also that's why i am using a greenish yellow color to the shirt of this person outside the window i am applying some bluish greenish colors so that it's look on a greenery outside a window now i am adding some light tone more light tones on a shirt you have to alternately work on a different different figures because when you apply a color on a one figure that time this color is wet and if you overlap the different color or a next tone on the same figure this might be merged in a background color so you have to work on one figure then again do some work on a different figure and then come back to this first figure i am showing some dimensions to the cloth of the figures i am adding some dark tones in hairs also we are adding some dark tones with a dark blue brown color the lights comes from the outside the window that's why some part of the hairs am left gray bucket also we are going to color like an object that's why it has also a three tones light middle and dark this person is wearing a dhoti that's why i am using a light gray color more white and small amount of gray then i'm going to show the dimensions to the clothes by adding some white tones these are some highlights on a cloth now on a figures 
clothes and showing a more than three tones middle dark dark then again middle and then light tone same way we have to work on objects also this bucket i am showing three tones dark middle and light and for depth i am adding some brown color if you understand a object drawing dimensions of the object drawing then you can easily color the human figures also with dimensions that's why the memory drawing has a knowledge of all type of drawings object nature to the design everything you have to need to understand properly to draw a memory drawing and color it properly now on the stools also i am using a yellowish brown color the wooden tone and on a darken part i am adding some brown color so dark so it's get a darken tone till now i am not doing work on a skin i am just working on a background and uh, objects clothes because we are going through dark to light color scheme that's why all the dark tones i am going to apply first and finally the skin depend on the tone of the cloth and a background we apply now on a darken part i am applying a dark tone of the skin color if you have on a fresh tint color you can directly use it for the skin but i don't have a skin color that is fresh tint that's why i make it with the yellow ochre red and white color and for the dark tone i am adding some brown and red color now these are the indian figures they are slightly brownish in shade mostly the fair skins are uh exactly same tone as the fresh tint color so even if you have on a fresh tint color you need to add some brown and red color in the fresh tint color to apply one basic tone for the dark tone i am adding one figure with the beard here also i'm going to show the dimension first we apply our only dark tones or darkish middle tone on a human figures then apply a dark tone and finally we add light tone on a human figures 
to get the dimensions all figures has their own skin tone different different skin tone you can make it by adding brown red yellow ochre combination i am here using the same skin tone for the all human figures not making many changes in a shades you also need to apply the same tones of the human figures sometime you can left some background part also for the light tone and a dark tone depend on a background color Yeah, or you can say you can take advantage of the background in human figures and uh, or color applications also. I am adding one uh, color bucket here directly with the color. You can add also such kind of objects. depend on a situation or you can draw with the pencil also because poster colors dry quickly it's not take more time to dry now we are making outline with the dark brown or a dark blue color to give a dimensions and details to the human figures we are going to draw eyes nose and outlines on human figures i am using here zero number brush for the outlining if you not comfortable with the brush you can use a black micro tip pen for this outlining that's why i'm adding a black micro tip pen in a memory drawing material i am very much comfortable with the brush that's why i'm using a zero number brush and the uh, most important thing is when we outline with the brush we get different different dimensions and the strokes of the lines while when you outline with the black micro tip pen you get only one dimension or one stroke of the line so this is the main advantage when you outline with the brush so make a practice and try to make it with the brush it's very much useful for you and also you understand the handling of the brush also so do practice and do this this is very much useful for you for the memory drawing as well as the other drawings also like design or object drawings also like we are using a dark tone for the outline here likewise we can use a darkened tone of the color that we use 
on a surface when we outline any object drawing we use a darker tone of this object like if your object is red we add some brown or slightly blue color in a red to make outline to this objects here we are using only dark tone of the brown and blue but still it's look good to this sitting figures also outlined with the color now see how we use our creativity and how we outline the objects and the figures if you observe properly you can understand the handling of the brush and using a single stroke for this outlining and this happened because of the practice and the handling of the brush i am handle a brush like on a pencil or a pen like use a marker the same way you can use a brush on the spot also you can add some details to the human figures like i am adding a mustache to this human figure so it's a look a uh, good pretty when we apply a colors on a figure all the features are gets fed out because of the applications of the colors but after up we have uh, gets an outline or give an outline to this figure they gets a dimensions and a details features also so but for that you need to understand a uh, human proportions and the uh, dimensions and a uh, folding folds of the clothes everything if you don't know the dimensions and the uh, features of the figures and objects you won't be able to outline the figures and you need to uh, outline your or you can say you need to trace your drawing before you start the coloring in a both way you can color or you can trace your drawing first you have to draw then trace your drawing with a black marker to pen and then color full memo drawing with a different different shapes and a tones of the colors but when you apply a color on a black marker to pen the shades of the colors might be fade out that's why this is the safer technique for you to first draw then apply a color and then trace with the black marker to pen or with the zero number brush all the human figures gets a dimensions by adding outlines and some dark tones now the final steps is remaining that is the shadow and 
Shadow is the most important part of the memory drawing. If you're not able to give a shadow, then the, all the figures look like they are flying. And in a grade examination assessment, the examiner is observing your creativity and your all the details that is how you apply a color on a human figure, how you show the dimensions with the different different tone. Have you show a dimension or the shadow on a human figures and on a foregrounds? Now all objects and backgrounds we fill up and trace with the black color. Now we showing a shadow. Now lights come from the window. So the shadow is opposite side of the window. That is on a right hand side part and on some figures on a left hand side part. In a bucket, we are showing a shadow on a, both the sides because it's got a shades from the human figure also because behind this bucket, this yellow human figure is there. And now this is our final drawing with the coloring. Thank you. Best of luck.